TriCaster 850 allows you to connect up to eight live video sources in a variety of formats and resolutions. You can also connect up to 16 external audio sources, and there are a variety of video inputs and outputs, as well as connections for adding external accessories that you can use with the TriCaster. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware configuration of the production system. To access the front of the TriCaster 850, simply pull down the front door, and then you'll see not only the power switch where you can turn the machine on and off, there are a few USB ports available here on the front panel, and then there are four removable drive bays. Now, TriCaster 850 comes with one removable drive, and you can populate it with three more removable drives. Now, these are standard SATA off-the-shelf drives. You can buy them, you want to make sure that you format those drives before you use them in a live production, and you want to format them in the NTFS file format system. Now let's take a look at the connections on the back of the TriCaster 850. The TriCaster 850 allows you to bring in a variety of video sources. You can bring in up to eight video sources at once, and it can be a mixture of high definition and standard definition in the same project. You can see on the back that we have connections for bringing in SDI, component, composite, and you can even bring in YC video. Now if you're working with high definition video, you're going to be bringing in either SDI or component. If you're working with standard def, it can be SDI, component, composite, or YC. You can bring in up to 16 channels of audio, and this can either be analog through the XLR connectors, digital through the AES EBU connectors, or the TriCaster supports up to four channels of audio coming in on the SDI signal as embedded SDI audio. There are also a variety of outputs available on the TriCaster. Now there are three video output sections here and each of these three video outputs consists of an SDI output and an analog output. And both of these are active at the same time. It's actually like having six video outs, three digital and three analog. Now the first two video outputs are always going to output whatever you set the session of the TriCaster to. So whatever your production resolution is, is going to be coming out of both of those outputs. The third video output is an auxiliary video output which is configurable, allowing you to output a different high def resolution or even output high definition and standard definition simultaneously from one TriCaster. And we'll take a look at setting that up in the interface once we get into the live production environment. There's also an HDMI video output, which is program out with audio. And there's a DVI output, our multi-view output, can be set as program out or as a preview monitor or a few other configurations are available as well, which we'll look at once we get into the live production area. Audio outputs are also available as digital or analog audio outputs, or again, the audio can be output as embedded SDI audio as well. Now there are two audio output sections. One is your main program audio output, and the second is a configurable audio output. This allows you to do two separate audio mixes from the same TriCaster. So not only can you produce two separate resolutions or two separate formats coming out at the same time, but you can also have two separate audio mixes simultaneously from one TriCaster. And again, we'll look at configuring that once we get into the interface. You have the ability to connect your main interface monitor here. You want to make sure that you're using a minimum resolution of 1440 by 900, but a recommended resolution would be 1920 by 1080. The TriCaster 850 comes with its own keyboard and mouse, and those will connect through the USB connections, either on the back or the front of the machine. There are also some options available. The 850CS is a control surface that puts all the power of the TriCaster right at your fingertips. This is also connected through a USB connection. And there's also a control surface available for the DDRs and the ability to do one channel of instant replay in slow motion called the 850TW. And yet again, this is another USB connection. Now, if you're going to be using these external control surfaces, the TW or the 850CS, and you want to extend the distance between the TriCaster and these control surfaces beyond the length of the cable that's included with them, you can do that by either getting a long cable or extending your cable. But if you do that, you want to make sure to add a powered USB hub. This is going to make sure that you get all of the power that you need to these external devices so that they operate correctly. So just a regular powered USB hub, hook it up here at the control surface, 
plug your long cable from the USB hub into the TriCaster, and then all of your accessories into that powered hub. TriCaster 850 also features dual power supplies. Now, this protects you in the event that a power supply should have a problem during a live event, and the TriCaster can run off of one of those two power supplies, but it is recommended that you always plug both of them in and that you use both of them during your live production. There's also an Ethernet connection on the back of the TriCaster, and this is a gigabit Ethernet connection, allowing you to connect to a network so that the TriCaster can connect to external computers. Now, of course, we can use our IVGA technology to bring the display of those external computers across that network into the TriCaster's network inputs. But you can also use external software like Live Text. Our character generator can be run on an external computer, attach it to the same network as the TriCaster, and the output graphics from that external live text can be brought into one of the TriCaster's network inputs as well for use in the live production. Again, we'll take a closer look at that once we get into the live production area and take a look at our network inputs. You'll also find an eSATA port on the back of the 850, and this will allow you to connect an external eSATA drive. This is great for importing and exporting external content. Once you have all of your connections made to the TriCaster, you're ready to power up the system. Now again, the power button is located in the front. You have to fold down the front door and you'll see the power switch there. But if you try and use that and you get no reaction from the TriCaster, you want to make sure that both of the power supplies are also turned on. Again, if you look around on the back of the machine at both of the power supplies, each one has its own power switch. And both of those also need to be turned on before you turn on the power switch in the front of the TriCaster. 